big group to experiment on. But in healthcare, the chips will be um, recommended for people in health categories. So, and I'm wondering if it will be mandated, like a vaccine might be. I don't know. So, people with seizures, oh, it would work for seizures, they say. Seizures, paralysis, post-traumatic stress disorders, stroke patients, and head trauma patients may be really great candidates for these new brain chips in the neuromorphic computing arena. Yep. Um, so, I'm just wondering, since your cell phones are known to give off electromagnetic radiation, I'm wondering, you know, you usually have your phone close to your head, right, when you're talking on it. I'm just wondering how that may interface with your brain chip. Negatively, maybe, I don't know. Or maybe you don't need the cell phone anymore. Maybe your brain chip becomes the cell phone. I don't know. Um, it's kind of crazy. Well, let's talk about this uh, DARPA revolution, because that's what we have. DARPA has revealed some interesting extras regarding brain chips, what they're going to offer for those wanting this great information in their head. They intended to tap into brain chips to acquire the individual sensory input and output. So in other words, they're going to analyze your mind and compare that information, how it harvests the information about your environment and life, and they're going to put it into a much bigger database, uh, and they will do it all in real time. As talk about a brain dump or a brain download. There it is. They um, r will sell your information to any business they'd like. And here's an example. If your local utility company wants to know how much energy it will need to provide on a given day, it can ask for an analysis from DARPA on the people with brain chips in their head. And it would provide them information such as, do these people tend to go out of town? Are they going to stay in town at home? Are they going to do their laundry? Uh, are they going to mow their yard? What are they going to do? So also water companies can ask for this information to see, you know, are you going to be watering your lawn or washing your car? And they're calling it remote I.O., which means input-output capabilities. So the folks at Extreme Tech are warning people that the same people that use warrantless wiretapping are the ones encouraging brain chip implants and this type of technology where they'll know what you're going to do for your day before you probably even tell your kids or maybe your spouse. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to know when you're going to go walk the dog. <laughs> Well, and, and, and I want to know, seriously, I want to know, um, does this thing have a switch on it, you know, on, off switch? That's the thing I want to know, right? Something tells me that if a brain has its, if you have a brain chip and it gives you these superhuman capabilities of intelligence, um, what about the power, the people in power? Do they want you to be faster, smarter citizens? So if brain chips are offered for medical reasons or to the average public that, you know, I don't know, maybe they'll pair it with cell phone and say, hey, get our newfangled cell phone and get a brain chip for free. Um, well, you, if they're offering brain chips, let's say for medical reasons, um, that would be on a limited basis and only for those that can afford it and are uh, cleared to have one. But if brain chips were offered like to everybody, the masses like cell phones are, and at an affordable price, um, I'm thinking they're going to come with a remote shut-off switch. Yep. Which uh, I would think the brain chips will be like, you know, other implants that have serial numbers identifying the individual that it was implanted in and so forth and so on. That's how, like, times they, they identify dead people because they may have breast implants or some sort of knee implant and there's a serial number on that and then they can trace it to who the person is and the surgeon who put it in. Um, now all this new technology is, oh my God, it's not for everyone. And it can be a warning really to mankind that technology is kind of a two-edged sword, similar in principle to pharmaceutical drugs. It may take care of your original problem, but it's going to give you a different problem, like a side effect. So. 
Technology convenience creates a greater dependence on something else. And the more advanced, the more vulnerable you become. See? Yep, yep. I don't know. A lot of people say, well, I want, you know, a superhuman vision. Right? A bionic eyeball kind of thing. Well, a lot of what's coming out of the halls of scientific research kind of is mind-blowing. It's